Division One football player that is a decorated veteran and was cast on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't do one of those things. <laughs> but that is my resume, technically. This may be probably the shortest Saturday Night Live tenure in the show's long history. The show firing one of its new cast members before he even appeared on the broadcast. My agent calls and is like, did you say that story? And I was like, no. His offer to join Saturday Night Live rescinded after days of backlash over racist and homophobic slurs he used during a podcast. And by the time I got to the stand, like TMZ was there. No. <laughs> With his comedy special sitting on 12 million views and having the number one podcast on Patreon, Shane Gillis is one of the biggest stand-up comedians of this time. How would you like to go on a date with Donald Trump? From joining the army, washing dishes in restaurant, facing a storm of criticism and losing his biggest opportunity of his life to becoming one of the most praised and successful stand-up comedian. This is Shane's full story. The story begins in Trinity High School, west of Harrisburg, where two high school lovers Phil and Joan Gillis met. Years later on December 11th, 1987, they welcomed their third child and first son Shane Gillis. I'm from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I grew up in a suburb of like white trash. Irish Catholic family. Shane grew up with two older sisters. You have brothers, sisters? I have two older sisters. Two older sisters. Yeah. It's funny, one time my sister, she's here, she lost a game uh, in basketball her senior year. And I was talking to shit. I was like, you guys fucking suck. <laughs> At the dinner table, and my dad was like, all right, square up, finish it. <laughs> and he fucking, we cleared out the living room table, and my sister and I boxed. <laughs> Just bare knuckle fucking box. And she fucking rocked me. I was like, I was like, I don't want to hit her back. <laughs> Shane went to the same high school his parents attended, where he did well academically and excelled in football. But compared to every other Division One prospect, yes. Okay. Then, gotcha. Yes, I had good grades. Okay. Even though he was captain of his high school team, Shane didn't get an offer from his dream college, Notre Dame, where his grandfather and uncle attended. I played tackle in high school. Left or right? I was left tackle in high school. Right. His choice was limited between East Michigan, Temple, and the Army. And he chose to join West Point, but his time in the Army was short-lived. Only hours in his stay at West Point, Shane decides he doesn't belong there. You, you, yeah. went to, you went to Army for how long? Literally three weeks. How do you Before get out? Before it got hard. How do you, you get out? You just cry. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is cry. <laughs> like, get this bitch out of here. <laughs> yeah, if you're, you're 6'3", 300 pounds crying, they're like, All right, you're fucking going home. <laughs> so your parents drop you off at like... 5 a.m. They drop you off in regular clothes, and your parents say goodbye to you. And then at the end of the day, there's a parade of all the new cadets in front of all the parents. And now they see you marching in a uniform, head shaved, at the end of the day. So during that parade, I see my mom like waving a flag, like one of those mini yeah. flags, and I walk by her, and she was like, "Yes," and I was like, "I'm getting the fuck." <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, really dude, mouth. <laughs> in one hour, <laughs> and she literally went like this, dude. She goes. Uh, uh, she dropped her flag. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't belong there at all. Even before his first day at West Point and finding out he's not dedicated to the military like the other recruits, Shane started regretting his decision to join the Army right after he committed. So after I committed, I was like, this is... I thought, But, you know, I was, I was 17 or 18 at the time, so he's, it's new, like, getting up like that. And I spent most of the time at West Point quitting. Like, it's a long process to try to get back forms. out. <laughs> a lot of forms. <laughs> and just everybody that comes in tries to make you stay. Right. You know, like, it gets easier, it gets easier. I'm like, I don't, know, I don't know. Wow. I don't know if I like this. And then you also get there, and it turns out all your teammates are real, uh, real f***ing gung-ho about the military. They're all f***ing like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't want to. I want nothing to do with the military. I just want to play football. But when he calls his parents to tell them his decision, he was met with an answer that caught him off guard. So when you call your parents like, hey, I'm quitting, they're coached by like drill instructors and recruiters to be like, say no. Say they're literally not allowed to come home. So my parents, when I called them and I was like, I'm coming home, I'm quitting. They were like, you cannot quit. And I was like, you guys are fucking losers. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're a loser. I was so mean, dude. I was so mean. I was like, you guys, are, you're a fucking teacher, mom. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, dude, imagine crying on the phone <laughs> with your There's mom. There's a line of other dudes Bro. crying, waiting to get yeah, on with your mom. Like, yeah. shut the yeah. up, mom. Shut mom. You, you're a loser. <laughs> and then they finally, the next time I called, they're like, "All right, we, of course you can come home." We were told to say that after I quit West Point, or I, I, you know, quit, and 
they were playing Army Navy was in Philly. Mm-hmm. I, I was at Westchester. Every one of those games. Yeah. I was at Westchester. My sister was having a snuggie bar crawl. So I'm in a Ninja Turtles snuggie. <laughs> the team goes to the bar that I'm at after the game. The kids <sighs> that watched me cry and quit were at the bar drinking after their Army Navy game. I was in a Ninja Turtles snuggie. What? And they were like, yo, it's Gillis. Dude, what are you doing here? I was the like, fuck are you hey, doing? what's up, guys? <laughs> They're like, how are you doing? I was like, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I, was, I was doing the combine <laughs> next week. Not doing great. <laughs> Things are going <laughs> yeah. well. You definitely didn't tell us that. Damn, That's no. that hurts. brutal. That one's a tough memory. Because he queeted boot camp early, he had a chance to go and make it to another school's preseason. So a week later, he joined Elon University. But Shane wasn't ready for what's waiting him in Elon either. So I get to Elon, and that... And that sucked. I, like, I wasn't talented enough to, like, play early. Uh-huh. Right. So I would have had to have, like, worked very hard for, like, three years to start to play one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was in year one just like, oh, this is never going to happen. In high school, Shane was relatively bigger than other players, so he had a physical advantage. But after joining college, that wasn't what he experienced on the field. Like, yeah. you're going up against, gr- like, jacked, giant dudes that are physically dominating you for four hours every single day. So that sucked. Just beating. Oh man, dude, I was and I, I was like, and you're going up against I'm big B tackles and, and yeah, all dude, that. Well, shit. even the safeties would like come down, dude. Guys that were like 180 <laughs> pounds would just f-ing level me, dude. I sucked. I f-ing sucked. You go from high school where I was six three, two ninety in high school. I was bigger than everybody. Yeah, I could literally just walk towards someone and they'd move. And then you get to college and like those dudes are huge. So the reality is like. You go from being the best guy on your team to the worst guy in the conference. The conference. <laughs> I was so yeah. bad, dude. When I, my O-line coach at, the, uh, at Elon fucking hated me. And I was talking to my coach after a practice or after a meeting, and I was like, I think I'm going to quit. And he was like, oh, yeah? And I was like, I think I'm like the worst player on the team, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, pretty close. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Thanks for the honesty. Thank you. I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. That was my whole identity, my whole life. I was like, I'm a football player. I'm a football player. And then you find out you're not. And it's like, oh, fuck. After quitting football, Shane didn't stay in Elon for long. As soon as I quit football, I just drank and stopped going to class. So I got, like, <laughs> kicked out of school, back in my parents' house. Ah, like, gained, damn. Gained, like, 50 pounds. And what came next is the lowest point of Shane's life. He moves back to his parents' house and starts washing dishes in one of his friends' restaurant. So I left Elon, went to Harrisburg Area Community College. So this is all in the span of, like, a year and a half. My parents think I'm going to be, like, a senator at West, but like a general. A year and a half later, I'm like failing at community college, sleeping on their couch, washing dishes. Yeah, I ended up getting into Westchester University, just studied history. Shane received his bachelor degree in history and moved to Spain where he taught English for six months. I went there thinking like, all right, I'll be cultured. You know what I mean? I literally, I went to the same bar every day. Oh, dude, yeah. Got shit faced every day in the same bar. I didn't see anything. Yeah. I didn't go anywhere. The idea of trying out stand-up comedy came to Shane back in Mechanicsburg while he was washing dishes in his friend's restaurant. He gets introduced to a place where he can do open mics by a co-worker. I always, it was funny because when you're starting, you have no, I had no idea how you could do stand-up. Same. From fucking Mechanicsburg. I was like, how, like I would Google. Sure. I was oh like, God, yeah. You I was got like, what did Will Ferrell do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Google it. Audition like, for how? SNL. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and uh, so then one day I was in the depressed phase. I was back home washing dishes at my friend's restaurant. And oh, then wow. they were like, hey, one of the guys, one of the chefs is doing an open mic tonight. And I was like, I didn't Moment know you destiny. could do that. Yeah. So In I, Mechanicsburg, like, PA? Yeah, the Harrisburg Comedy Zone. Okay. So I went and I watched. There's like, you know, there's like nine people there in a bar. Yeah. And I was watching it and I was like, oh, these guys suck. I could do yeah. this. So then I watched that for like two months and then I finally went on and just fucking bombed. Oh, See, so- when, I, when I started comedy, it was only in the summer because I would do it at home. Not really at school Mm -hmm. and then uh i would take like six months off a year off like shit like that one day i got fired from my job in harrisburg and i was like i'm just gonna move i'm gonna move to philly and then i just left to harrisburg moved to philadelphia to do comedy like full time on 2016 shane won philly's funniest contest at helium comedy club so i was in philly for like four years the same year he started matt and shane's secret podcast with matt mccusker welcome to matt and shane's secret podcast welcome to the secret podcast top secret stuff going on over here yeah including the launch of a brand new podcast this is the very first episode this is this is big time dude i think we're gonna get a lot of bad reviews after one 
probably. Maybe give it a shot again and uh, realize that podcasting is not for us. But for now, this is it. Or this is the best. This is top five of all time. This could be exactly. It could so, be. So, we'll see. After staying in Philly for four years, Shane moved to New York to push his career further. In 2019, Comedy Central named Shane an up-next comedian as he performed at Comedy Central's Clusterfest. The same year Gillis was recognized as one of the new faces of comedy at the Just for Laugh Comedy Festival in Montreal. As a kid, was SNL always a goal? Uh, when, when I was a young kid, yeah. I was mm -hmm. like, Chris Farley's the funniest guy of all time. Right. Mother of mercy, I don't speak Japanese! <laughs> And then Will Ferrell, I thought, was easily the funniest dude. You are a real hooker, and I'm going to slap you in public. And then, uh, yeah, but once I got into stand-up, like, got into stand-up, I was like, I'll never get SNL. Like, that's not – I knew who I was. I wasn't – and I knew what they were. So I was like, that'll never – I'll never get that. After his impressive performance in Just for Laugh Festival and Comedy Central's recognition, SNL reached out to Shane. They saw me at JFL and right. Clusterfest with Comedy Central, and my agents were like, hey, SNL wants to – give you a packet, a writer's packet. I was like, I'm not going to be a writer. I didn't do it. They were like, SNL wants you to audition. I was like, eh, we want you to audition straight to the main stage. So I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. Wow. And I was still like, I'm not going to get it. Like, I remember being in the waiting room with my friend, Reggie Conquest. We were together waiting for this. And I was like, I'm never going to get this. Like, this is, like, I didn't care. You wait in the green rooms or like the, the uh, can cast members rooms. Right. So you're just in there waiting. Right. And for like two, three hours while every single person they're auditioning goes through. And that, that's what gets in people's that head. That gets in people's that's head. That gets in your head because this is the job in it's comedy. It's intentional. That's yeah. why they do it. Is, and I was sitting there thinking like there's zero f***ing chance I get this. So right. like, I literally, I was like, okay, you just whatever. just having fun. Didn't give a f when they When they brought me in though, that's when it really f***ing hit. Like, yeah. Because they bring you to a s separate green room where you sit while the other person before you is on. And they're like, all right, you got five minutes. So then you walk out in front of everybody, and it's this big empty room with two cameras. All right? And they give you the camera guy goes three, two, you say your name, and go. Right. And then you just get the off the stage. And then on 9-11, I got the phone call that says, that was Lauren, and it was like, we're going to put you on the cast. And I was like, nice. oh, shit. On and then, the cast. And then September 12th, they released... The information that I was going to be on the cast. Yeah, that was the first thing I was ever able to like tell my parents in comedy that they understood. You know, normally they'd be like, "Oh, I'm featuring this weekend for so and so." They'd be like, "Who cares?" This was the first one. I was like, "I'm going to be on Saturday Night Live." They were like, "Wow!" So that night I had shows at the Stand. So I was going to do shows, and I was like, "Oh, this is going to be the coolest night ever." All the comedians are going to be like, "Hey, there he is!" You know. So I'm on the train from Queens going into the city, and I got a text from my agent that was like, did you say the word? And I was like, no. Like, I was like, I wouldn't say that. I genuinely, I was like, no, I don't even, why would I say that? And then she was like, here's a video of you saying it. And I was like, holy shit. And then, so you know how it is riding the train, you lose service. Ugh. So I would lose service for like five minutes. And then at the next stop, get a million texts that are like, holy shit, you're, you're fucked. Yeah, so I got like gradually canceled every stop. And by the time I got to the stand, like TMZ was there. No. <laughs> For the next four days, Shane was under criticism and exposure in level he never experienced before in his life. The pressure from the media campaign and Twitter debates on national level was crushing, in Shane's own words. At the time, Shane was getting phone calls from agents, SNL's Lauren Michael and people he know telling him what they thought would save his career. NBC going as far as giving him a written apology to tweet. NBC is saying, here's the statement you need to say. And it's like a written out, like, what I said was inexcusable. I've learned from my mistakes. Like that, like, paragraph, you need to tweet this. And I was like, I'm not going to tweet that. Like, that's, you know, that's crazy. But then Lauren was like, I just need you to give me something. So I was like, all right, that's fair. It's reasonable. And uh, so, yeah, I just had like five minutes. He was like, I need something in the next 10 minutes. So I just sat there and typed something out. I'm a comedian who pushes boundaries. I sometimes miss. If you go through my 10 years of comedy, most of it's bad. You're going to find a lot of bad misses. I'm happy to apologize to anyone who's actually offended by anything I've said. My intention is never to hurt anyone, but I'm trying to be the best comedian I can be. And sometimes that requires risks. They offered me, I could either resign, I could resign or they could fire me. They offered me that. And I was like, nah, you're going to have to 
you guys are going to have to fire me. Yeah. This is going to be on you. On September 16th, SNL released a statement saying Shane Gillis won't join the cast. Despite many offers, Shane chose not to do any interviews after getting fired for a while. As soon as something like this happens, the right, the far right, is quick to be like, yes, join us. Yeah. Fuck them. Mm -hmm. it. It's like, no, I don't want that either. On September 7th, 2021, Shane Gillis Live in Austin was released on YouTube and became very successful with 12 million views at the time of making this video. You, you were already famous? But now you're famous for a good reason? The right reason. True. The right reason? Newly viral sensation Shane Gillis is in the building. Oh, Let's thanks. go! The release of his special launched Shane's popularity to a new level. I realize, like, Fox News is basically black church for old white dudes. You know what I mean? Like, literally everything they say, my dad just sits there like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, preach, Tucker. <laughs> The free special is funnier than any special released on Netflix in recent years. Hidden Figures was good. The, the movie about the black ladies at NASA. Or as my dad likes to call it, Medea Goes to the Moon. <laughs> With his newfound fame from his special and the Gillian Keeves sketch, Shane's career is in a path to making him one of the next generation's greatest comedians. <laughs> yeah, you can't have dudes living together for too long. It becomes wild. I told you I walked in on the bros, and there's I was in a, a person's house, and it was him and his friend, and they were like 65 years old, but they were the bros. Hetero, hetero bros. It was future. That was you. Was that was Stuff Island's loopers, dude? It was you walked crazy, in on Stuff Island, dude. dude. Like, you it was fucking clean the house. It, Fuck you, dude. 65. It was a guy came in. He rode. He rode a mountain bike. He worked in like this. It was like a kind of like a deli, and uh, he came. It was like a nice deli, and he came one of like the fancy ones. Yeah. And he, he comes in, puts his bike down. He was like, bro, I saw the hottest fucking chick today. And I'm like, dude, you guys are so old. The <laughs> that, 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 that holds up. Just bro. horn dogging on that pussy. It, it was nice to be like, bro, she was killing Every me. Every one of our dads wishes they had that. They True. could come home and say that to somebody. Put the bike down and just be, just like, be like, yo. Like, bro, and he has a log of cheese. It's springtime like, in yo, Philly. You know what time? True. There's yoga pants. That is the back. one thing about the wintertime when the babes reemerge from their fat cocoons. <laughs> Ooh, with the drip severe. Dude, I remember uh, the beans. Working with Spud, we would just uh, drive we would just drive through the city in springtime and the babes reemerge. Spud, Spud and Billy driving too. Cause you're always we're always on the phone with them. Yeah, you could yeah. hear them while they're driving, just like mm. <laughs> you go, whoa. Always on Kelly Kelly Drive, dude. Taking yeah. Kelly Drive intentionally to see the yoga the yoga pants jogging. Yoga pants now there's yoga shorts. Trips of, yeah. Yoga shorts now, dude. Yeah. What the fuck are they trying to do? To they're me? literally just showing their pussies. Dude. And fully. I'm I'm here for it. I'll look. My body's designed to see it. if my if I if it's even vaguely in my field of vision, it's like I I, I stare directly at people's books. You have to, but that's the thing. You have to just while I'm walking down the street. Just. Yeah, your nervous <laughs> system's t like five billion you know, years old. You can old. see it. You can see the whole thing. I know. Yeah, it's it's been my favorite thing since I first heard of a camel toe. I was in grade school, and I, there was there was actually a website. I think it was cameltoe.org. dot mm. org. Still haven't it's an organization. Huh? It was an organization. organization. It was an organization. It was a non-profit. <laughs> it was, dude. And it was just camel toes, and I would sit there in grade school and just be like, next, 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 and just go through them. Like, this is, yeah. I could still put on, I could put on probably a 45-minute camel toe session now. Easy. 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 Ooh. And girls are, like, embarrassed by it. It's so weird. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. It's like, that's They're not the embarrassed anymore. I, they're not. They wear pants so tight it spreads their fucking lips. Dude. Well, now they have they insane. have the also the yoga pants that have like a built in butt crack in the front that splits the pussy. They have that in the front now. Yeah, dude. I've seen the yoga pants with a built in built in butt ass crack. crack. Yeah, and you just go like, dude, what the fuck? I'm on an airplane. It's right in my yeah. face. I told my I was next to Brittany. I was like, I'm trying to run a fucking family here. This lady's ass in my this lady's perfect face. Just, fucking thick ass. I was like, right just for the us. record, this lady's ass is right in my fucking face. I also I'm though, being cool I, I do a thing though, especially on airplanes, where I attribute my ass to women. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, my ass is a mess right now from all this travel. You project your ass. On I'm hers? like, her ass must be <laughs> disgusting in those shorts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I did want to stick my face in her ass, True. I bet it would be an unpleasant experience. That's a good. I gen I do that I do that not even like per yeah. I'm like kind of sometimes disgusted by the fur flying fat, ass. nice asses on a plane where I'm like ew 
She probably has a hard boner because she's flying. Yeah, she's probably got a boner for the last four hours that she can't get rid of. She's probably got the hardest boner of her life. <laughs> I've never once thought. I've always assumed that women have immaculate. They might. They definitely don't have man's ass. Eh, they but get, they probably they might get flying ass. No, you stand. I, I, they're probably not like me. Where if they're in line, they're anxiously sweating the entire time. Yeah. Like my. If the the security line, the armpit sweat, the ass sweat, the whole time. The second I sit on a plane, my ass is drenched and I'm rock hard and I start crying. <laughs> and I start crying to a movie. <laughs> I contemplate death for about five minutes and then I have a boner and I start crying watching whatever I put on. Your ass just continues as, as your ass, ass is, gently weeps, dude. My ass gently. It's, it feels like I shit my pants. <laughs> it feels like you shift over and you're like... I do get violently horny on airplanes. You know I've had I've had to hit the escape hatch a couple times. I can't believe you hit the escape pod. Oh my god, <laughs> I've done it. Pod. I've done it, dude. I've done it a couple times. I've been like, bro, I can't carry this burden, and I just go I'm right to the bed. It's maybe a minute, dude. I'm jealous of that. It's like when Spike Lee gets out of jail and he got game. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spike Lee, <laughs> or whatever the fuck you guys' name is. It'd be awesome if it was Spike Lee. In that who movie. was? Who played it was that? Denzel? That, that was Denzel. Yeah. Damn, I knew I had Denzel. Is Jesus Shuttlesworth. Yeah, Jesus Shuttlesworth's father. Uh, yeah, I, it was a Spike Lee joint. It was a Spike Lee joint. It was Cornell West. Lee's... It was when Cornell living legend pool player. No, he Doesn't said no. Said no. Why did he say no? There we go. Maybe we're not wit Riz, bro. <laughs> You got this. We're not an average Ohio resident. He's got to speak like this, dude. <laughs> I'm the best bodybuilder in the world. Oh, no. <laughs> that, was oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that, was that was a different one. Matt, what was that? What's Yo. up with your YouTube, bro? <laughs> Those are the same thing. That's the same off video. Porn. Mom's, Mom's, YouTube. Mom's, Mom's Will Smith. Smith. You're off porn, You're the huh? highest <laughs> manifestation. Is that real self actualization for with right, Nunichi Kudson right. and so forth? You think My bad. a lot of people are. Is that really the, you know, the highest I rewind it. I rewind it. manifestation? Is that real self-actualization for young women nowadays? That's the question they ask. And you're totally right that, look, ultimately, the market will choose. There's no question about it. The market will choose. The market is brutal. You know, you know what's a great thing about it? It's always the, right. It's always right. You know, you can, you can say, well, let me tell you, I'm the best bodybuilder in the See, world. See, told you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's all I listen to on yeah, YouTube. It's either I, put, that I watch the like, dishes and watch those guys talk. And I'm like, dude, that's so sick. Just like, bro. The yeah, markers. it's either that or dudes talking to a panel of like seven Oli fans. Girl, like, is 20 too high of a body count? And do you think you could find yeah. a man like that? Dude, <laughs> dude just fucking. Oh, dude, exactly. YouTube's <laughs> forsaken me. YouTube is totally forsaken Let's me. Get into it. <laughs> I had nothing left on YouTube. Really? Besides PBD, obviously, obviously modern wisdom with that dude. Dude, ever since the Hunter Biden shit went down and they fucking nuked Pornhub, remember when he had his like fucking Droid Hunter eighty eight account on Pornhub? The what? Everybody forgot about that, Bill. Hunter Biden R H Beast. Everybody R- forgets everything, dude. Hunter Biden they had a Pornhub account. Yeah. I think it was R H R H East thirty two or something like that. And as an admitted amateur fan, it got they nuked everything on Pornhub and then oh, it was to only- get rid of but they're like, oh no, we're stopping sex trafficking. I was like, dude, obviously not. Like you guys are fucking Pornhub. There's definitely yeah. fucking sex slaves on that. But now it's like you have to verify and all this shit. But R H East got fucking kicked off. He was banging chicks. His Pornhub search history is some of the nicest. It's like crackhead real hooker family, gives blowjob. Family stuff. Yeah. Crackhead gives blowjob. Yeah. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Been there. It's fucking tight. It's a nice one. It's it's a little jarring. I, yeah, I can yeah. see it, but it's like hood clips. Yeah, it's it's like a deeper level of hook. Yeah, it's a deeper level of hood clips. That is the pit. Car blow jobs. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. I'm not going to talk about another man's point search, dude. That's <laughs> they got well, that free them all. True. Yeah. Yeah. Free them all. It's, yeah, it's I mean, I'm sure his was jarring, but also, dude, you'd be surprised, man. We got into someone's porn search in college, and it was, and this was Doctor Strange Love. You should stop talking about this now. Yeah, it <laughs> was, bro. It was like we were all like, we just like laughed it off. We were, I was like, whoa, bro, <laughs> clear, whoa. That. <laughs> clear that. I'm talking about using electricity. My first, fucking, <laughs> my first search was, I'll never tell you guys. It was so I'll fun. never tell. It was so on, fun. Bro. I can't tell you what my first search was. It was what hilarious. Was it you talking about the very no, first one when you were hilarious. younger? No, just now. Oh, Jesus. It was just out of curiosity. My most recent search. I, I can't tell you what it was. Just out of curiosity. It is hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious that that's what I was searching. 
Who? <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, dude. No, it's just not it's not that's that not bad. That's not you, dude. That's you are that, you're in another state. True. You're in another state. No, it's not that bad. It's, it's just, just funny. Situation. It's funny that that's what this all right. I'm, uh, <laughs> just out of curiosity. Was, uh, I'm just doing the math on uh how bad this is. I'm gonna get made fun of for this. <laughs> it wasn't it's just funny. Get on the jackalope. This is the jackal. I'll get on. See, you can always believe it. You I, always I, I'll be do believed. it. Yeah, what's the jackal? The last word I searched on <laughs> the last word I searched on Pornhub was party. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what do you want? Dude? I wanted to see some yeah. girls fucking yeah, at a dude. party. Yeah, dude. Dude. What? Dancing bear stuff. I'm with you, bro. bro. I searched the word party. <laughs> Party, party, party. That's all. Oh, man. man that's that's so it's weird. Party people, dude. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. That's, dude, I fell in that hole before the bike, the college parties and shit. That's a. This man. night, first thing that came up, girl reacts, girls watching porn. That was, you put me on that. That fucked me up for a while. What's that? You see it, girls girls reacting getting caught porn. watching porn. Oh, yeah. Matt, yeah. look at her reacting, just on a computer watching. That's, dude, that's You're excited ooh, that she's, she's really excited. Going for it. I feel you. She's watching. It's the fact that yeah. she's watching porn. I'm like, Jesus. There's Christ. a huge chance, like, when, like, me and Spade were talking about dreaming. And if you get on your phone right away after you wake up, it fucking wipes you. Like, there's some, like, waves that come out of your phone, like, fuck with, like, your recall or whatever. Yep. There's no way, especially, like, blue light gets little girls in a puberty earlier. If it's wiping your memory and fucking with your hormones and you're erected jacking off the fucking porn, it's probably so bad for your shit. Yeah, it's the, MI, it's well, the MIB thing. Not yeah. to go back to Will Smith, but. For sure. Yeah, well, Tommy could be, it's, you know, just as much as uh, Tommy. What was his name? Tommy Davis. Yeah, or, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. Well, the the reason phones wipe Hang your memory is because it's it's putting you into a short term problem solving oriented mode of being, and it like it stops you from being able to do like long term <laughs> thinking. It fries your long term memory because it puts you. You're, you have to you use your, in order to use your phone. You have to solve like little problems. You have to be like, okay, I have to click that. I have to look at this and scroll, and that like literally is short term attention. Can I? I know you're on something, but can can you guys do me a favor and tell me the last one you searched? I told you party. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I try to it. think. Just look at your phone and go to porn. I don't, I, dude, I'm institutionalized. I still jerk off in my own bathroom with the door locked on the phone. You don't search on your phone on porn? Private, app? always. Dude, it's, but that was on the table anytime I was when on you're, the When you're in private, it doesn't save your searches like Fuck that? Fuck no. On in incognito mode? No. I don't think it yeah, does. Yeah, I don't like, I've never. Spud, please join me, brother. Party, dude. I searched party, party and jacked off to it. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. I no, mean, just I look at it. I don't search YouTube. I don't search Pornhub. I just go on it. I'm just trying to think of the last thing I got into. You've never searched. A word I don't search. It. I just go on and scroll. Yeah, but I mean, I if you ever I've have, been clean be for there. a while. Like, oh, okay. And then I also, if I use, I had that Reddit, the bad Reddit. What's uh, that? Reddit? Yeah, and I get we get crushes on porn stars, so it's like you would get crushes on. Yeah, them. I get crushes on. You, them. Would you want to like? Would you want to like mail them things straight? No, no, I'm not like crazy. <laughs> 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 comments that, think, that's a different the last i got big i got big into the public vibrating panties just look at it that cross, i'll try to see if i can find it this doesn't count as search oh it's yeah dude I'm, again i'm not puritanical about it but let me see uh, <laughs> i think i think when you crazy. see the search it's gonna be jarring i would have never guessed party i don't think i'm telling you i don't think it saves when you're in which i'm gonna call it mode oh my god <sighs> It's taking me back into the thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't put them back in there. It's in the problem solving. Nope. That's, that's, that's trend, this, is prob- this is problem solving right now. No, it doesn't save mine. It doesn't have anything up there? I swear to God. Nope. Nothing. It's just trending. Yeah. mutual masturbation. I thought that was mine. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't think when you're in, uh, you know what, it doesn't save it. Thank fucking God. <laughs> I need to go on private mode more. I, I'm oh, surprised yeah, you don't, bro. I just don't. Who cares? Yeah, mm. but that's what I'm saying. Like you're chilling in this big house by yourself. Like growing up, like internet options had to be destroyed always. Yes, no, it's I, like Inspector I up, Gadget's dude. notes. Bro. I grew up blacking <laughs> off on my family's. Computer. Yeah, he had he had the. Jerk yeah, off I'm as saying well. it's muscle memory at this point. And They're I had a, my sisters were old, just like like your oldest brothers would. Like you know, what I mean, they knew they were looking. Well, for if it. I had to choose who to get caught by, <laughs> <laughs> sisters. It's very popular genre. <laughs> I think every woman deep down knows there's nothing. Up, thi- there's nothing upstairs. I could get with that theory that they just collect ideas from boyfriends and they're just like, Whoosh. that's all they do. And then they're like, oh, wait, what is this one now? Like, yeah. Okay, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point. It was great. I was watching. I just <laughs> that's a fair point. I just watched Manchester by the Sea again. Holds up. Still yeah, that's sad. A great, as fuck. That's a great movie. Uh, 
but it's funny the crackhead the, the one of the wives mm-hmm. the one all right casey affleck's brother who dies mm-hmm. his babe when they're they show flashbacks the whole movie she's like passed out on the couch with her pussy out in front of yeah. the kids she's just a mess yeah and then in Hot the future mess. in the future she just marries a christian ferris bueller <laughs> and just he's like i'm a christian now it's like and i was watching i was like damn this is literally what every woman does she was dating a fisherman from boston i was like yeah fuck you yeah and she dated ferris bueller and was like oh we should pray that's so fucking funny that's been nice watching the women transform into the the last couple of years like blue lives matter gun chicks yeah it's coming that's a whole it suits them better man no, it's already there that, that's they're there yeah they're like full like that became a personality for women. They were underground for a while. Yeah. I knew a couple of Blue Live Matter babes. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Like years ago. Yeah. But yeah, now they found the safe havens on Instagrams. Yeah, it's good to be like, I'm a country girl. Yep. <laughs> I got traditional values. Can your man pitch a tent in the woods, start a campfire? <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching this girl that does all these songs. That's all she does. Talk about like, songs about how like you can keep your city boys. Does it drive a truck through the mud? It sounds like I'm doing a southern accent. She's singing the whole time. Really? Yeah, it's it's, it's crap. Yeah, she's like, you can go ahead and suck off your well-groomed boyfriend. I'm going to suck this guy's sweaty dick in a bog. Does he chew tobacco? <laughs> can I suck his dick in a bog? <laughs> you know. Oh, watch this lady get it. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. Just a lady. <laughs> <laughs> lady and a bird took her eye out. That was a huge bird. She was FaceTiming and a bird took her eye out. <laughs> that was a bird of prey. That was fully, oh, yes. This is just already a thing. Good rhyme pattern. She said she's never seen someone hit a golf ball the way he does, and he looks like a Ken doll. I said, girl, your boyfriend sounds cool and all. But can he beat a hook? Can he change a tire? Can he go in the woods and build a campfire? Can he shoot a gun? Can he take you mud in? Dating a country boy, girl, it's really something. You gotta believe me. There's so much. <laughs> Why do they got to objectify us as city boys and country boys? I don't know. We just be We're constantly we being objectified, dude. Yeah, dude. That's a you can get into success objects, telling women I am not your success object. Ooh, because they do. I like that. I dude, it's a sick dude. There's yes, these. Uh, thank you, Matthew. I'll be screaming that. Someday. I am not your success object. I will be screaming that. Someday. They objectify men. They objectify men. They yeah. complain about being objectified, dude. It's like I am not your su- success. It object. is funny to be like we're objectified as a woman. It's like yeah, dude. Yeah, man. That's that's what we do. We're humans. We objectify literally everything we see. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> it's not even like I conscious. objectify my fucking mom. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to be a good mommy, and I can be proud of her. True. You know what I mean? True that. I don't want a bad mommy. Yeah, but it's also like, like, I'm, does a dog <laughs> objectify a dog when it fucks it? It looks at it and goes, "Yeah, fuck yeah." Yeah, I want to place my seed in there. I want to. Fuck that fine dog. looking breed. I'm feeling so fucking hernia. That, that dog's coat is looking perfect. Yeah. I need that coat. It's Little like pit bull poodle mix. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh I mean, dude, it's just so much harder being a guy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dude, think we go to war, you and me. We gotta work all the time, dude, you and me. We gotta die in factories. We definitely have to die in fact if you, if one of us dies in a factory, <laughs> something went wrong. <laughs> I could just be on a tour. We don't even die in factories anymore. That's just the Chinese boys. It is. They are die. They are dropping like flies in factories. Uh, yeah. On the internet. Oh, you they see it? You actually see it? Machines every day. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. In the most horrific ways. Damn! On like the Happy Meal toy machine. Dude, they yes. The thing that's pressing the Happy Meal Yoda baby Yoda doll. Oh, uh, imagine losing they, like, your reach in fucking to, arm. Yeah. To a thing that a toddler just looks at. But, I mean, I, he's down, dying. He's down bad. He was filming himself in the hospital. Dude, that's going to be the new thing. Your death is going to be, everyone's death is going to be filmed. Yeah. Then you get likes on your death and you go, fuck. Oh, that was Especially suck, if your dad died. Like, it's like no one coming to your funeral. 
True. It's like dad's gone, post a picture on his Instagram. It's like 17 likes. And like, he was great. And yeah. Four comments, dry as fuck. Hey guys, all my organs are <laughs> bleeding. I don't know how long. I, yeah. Hey guys. That's going to be my fucking bleeding everything. right into my asshole. Well, I think about that. The yellow man from Anacapulco. <laughs> I think about that a lot. Oh, yeah. The guy who morphed, <laughs> yeah. Got into, the guy who morphed into Homer and died on camera. A documentary yeah. camera was there. Yeah. That so was right. a big camera was filming him. He was just. <laughs> <laughs> just. She literally said, just go. You're an asshole, but just go now. We'll take care of this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> oh, my bad. See ya. <laughs> fucking anarchist. That is literally the death of an anarchist. Yeah, true. <laughs> Just yellow from John. I did whatever I want. Like, now you have a fucking crippling yeah. disease and you're dying. Yeah. What? Did, what? Did, he got hepatitis. He got jaundice. He got jaundice. Yeah. His liver, his liver shut, shut down. Shut off, so he turned yellow in his eyes. Yeah. There is no he rules. Yellow. You can do whatever. This is drinking like dirty water down there. No, he was drinking <laughs> what fucking are the rules. Handles of vodka and rum every oh, day. God, yeah. Every time they showed him, he was getting shit faced. Off the bitty with coins? a yeah, <laughs> they're making a comeback. We'll be able to drink handles again. Spades dude. fucking yes, rich right now. I was what are your bits up? Handles when they were up. I don't know. I haven't checked the bits. Maybe like seven hundred bucks. The, the bitcoins are not. Damn, they're, they're at seven hundred. No, 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 like his, my his stash. My oh. stash is yeah. I think I have. Don't even. I invested like crypto wild card key. <laughs> I have like eighty bucks in the various coins left. Yeah, yeah, they go up. I, I had I had a lot. I, I had a lot. They dipped a lot. I got crushed. <laughs> I bought at the peak. Dude. I bought everything at the peak. It's coming back. Dude. That's why I don't do any of that stock market we'll shit. Have I like no matter what I get, it's just going to crash. I knew what? I was. I knew I was fucked when it was a Christmas party, and my uncles were talking about Ethereum. Oh fuck! And I was dude. like, yeah, oh, they know about it. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> dude. That's a good indicator. Yeah, all the uncles were like, oh, we're getting Ethereum. We're getting I was Ethereum. like, oh, shit. I'm fucked. to so, sell. I'm going to lose $17,000. Dude, I told you. I bought Bitcoin. I, I didn't buy a Bitcoin. I bought like a fraction of Bitcoin when it was, I swear to God, maybe like $7,000. Really? I, it was just 100 bucks of it. And then I, it went up a little bit. And I was like, sweet. And then I just sold it all off and got rid of my Robinhood account. <laughs> and then it jumped up to $64,000. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you'd have tried to do it again, I would have lost my shirt. Yo. Did you fucking down. hear about that shit with Pizzagate? <laughs> what? The shit you sent me? Yeah. What? The fucking gate's back? Nuts, bro. What is it? Yes. Fucking tell him, bro. In no, Podesta? Yeah. Podesta's boy? Podesta's boy fucking... What was he? He just got a rat. The guy who was like debunked Pizzagate? Wasn't Podesta supposed to be the guy... Was he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got something on that, on that front. Chill <laughs> the fuck out. But wait, there's a new one now? Damn, I cannot believe you right now. Why? This is my truth. Don't. I thought this was a safe platform. This is obviously a safe platform. Okay. Fucking Podesta's boy who debunked Pizzagate just got fucking charged. What was it for? Child rape? No. Or p- child porn? Dude. That's or, fu- or both. What? I mean, oh, both? I said it to you. I Spade can't said, Look at the yeah. text oh, He ran the us. defense, and then he- He ran- He debunked Maybe it. he looked into it after he like he was like, we're not doing that. And he was like, what the hell are they Yeah, why about? is the penalty so great for this? And he checked it out. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is the why penalty is so great? Someone's Something innocence. must be incredible about it. I better this. take this stuff off the market. It sometimes if you screenshot and send it to me, it does go in no, your text. No, yeah. So his boy got caught with the CP. Yeah, it's fucked. A lot of there's a lot of Q stuff that's like kind of coming back right now, and I don't like how you always tell people that I'm a big QAnon guy. It makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Anytime I introduce him to people, I'm like, "This billion yeah, yeah, yeah. They're obsessed. With, they're QAnon guys. They're legit Q guys. Oh, uh, where is it? That's awesome. I'm proud that you guys are legit Q guys. Dude, I like actually. Is, yeah, I'm pumped. Is making a comeback. We've had too. problems here. How, wait, <laughs> there's no, there's no tell, news tell, 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 tell. They didn't put in the news. Did he, dude, will you please verify. I'm trying to. Please, oh, Gardini, Josh would have had this up, up bro. Josh would have had. Fun. Yeah, for real, dude. You've changed Josh a lot have since you've been to Texas. God dog. <laughs> You yeah. think it's changed when we came to Texas? It's changed a lot. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Do you crazy. feel like you've changed? Because I've noticed it a little. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not crazy, Sean. But a John Podesta's like friend it? who debunked Pizzagate arrested for raping toddlers. Whoa. I guess it's a conspiracy theory. From though. what website? Hold on. Sure. This is going to be like. He wants a source. This is a, yeah. Yeah. a source. A source. Yeah. So gay. The people's <laughs> voice. <laughs> and it was fact-checked. As I believe two, it. Two fact checks. Damn. Close friends of John Podesta. Brad- it's very important. <laughs> I'm getting secret knowledge, you idiots. And it's going to pay off because <laughs> podcasts are going to get invented. <laughs> and then I can talk about the pyramids. Dude, I got bugged out the other day on YouTube. I uh, 
I was watching this thing. It was like Orthodox Christianity's view on marijuana. I'm like, maybe they're into it. I watched it, and this dude's name, I forget his fucking name, Father Spy Rodon or something. Is he sitting behind a desk dressed? No, he's in the woods, dude. A lot of, the oh. woods are huge right now for virality. If you go in the woods and do anything, they're like, yeah, here's a million fucking views. But he's in the woods, and he'd come on, it's just like a fucking bell tolling, and I'm like, all right, maybe this guy's going to be like, yeah, dude, we chief all the time. He's dressed like an old, like, 1500 yeah. degrees. Dude, now, so I'm just like, Orthodox. Sit, yeah. Yeah, it's an orthodox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting there watching it, and I'm like, all right, maybe this. I'm like trying to like. When is this guy going to say he blazes, dude? He anything. He does not blaze. First of all, he's against the blaze. He is. To, he's. It, it was. It was even like just blazing. This guy was saying, it's actually dangerous to like enter your imagination whatsoever, which marijuana purports, because then you're directly getting into like a demonic. You're opening your mind to a demonic realm if you if you get outside into your imaginational realm, dude. I I for real bugged out. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm with this guy. I think he's right. I'm dude. telling you, that's what alcohol does. Alcohol shuts that it off. Shuts just it like, down. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I for real it got scared. Pockets you straight in. You're scared. open. You're open to demonic. I got scared. I was like. I do have, I was like, that is the worst times I have. When I go into my imagination, I just scare myself about stuff. And I was like, oh, fuck, dude. Father Spiradon, please help Fire me. Father Spiradon's <laughs> exactly right. I dude, I can't stop thinking about my imaginational realm. And I'm like, dude, I can't go to the demon sphere. Dude, You're, dude he's totally right. He's, he's scared I've, I've been on this, dude. It is the demon sphere. People are like, no, you just got to keep going. You got to push through. It's like, fuck you, dude. One hit and I'm just... Yeah. Father Spiradon is Father Spiradon's over me going, <laughs> He's on his knees in, in the woods, just like, oh. I was laying on my Save stomach him. on the carpet watching this video, <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, fucking idiot. And I'm like, the more I watch, I was like, nah, he might have a fucking point, dude. Fuck, this is, he's like, you're supposed to stay out of your imagination at all times. I was like, damn, dude, that's... And then I started getting bugged out. I'm like, damn, other dudes that just don't access their imagination at all? And I'm like, that's fucking terrifying, too. I was truly in the horns of a dilemma. I was like, no imagination is a terrifying way to live. I'm just being like, today it's 12 o'clock now. Now I will go eat my supper. It's kind of, it is kind of tight. That's straight. Now you're beezing. <laughs> True. <laughs> now you're going through the day just like, fuck, my fantasy football team sucks. <laughs> That's a, that's demon realm though. No, that's not. It's not actual fantasy. True, I guess it's not. It's not. If they were mythical guys, <laughs> then yes, then you'd be open to the demon realm. True. Then you'd be worshiping. Although I guess you are. Those are false idols. They're well. They're, they're not the. It's not the real team. That's the demon. Pat realm. Mahomes is the demon realm. <laughs> True. If you watch him and you go, I wish I was Pat. Mahomes. Well, if you have Pat Mahomes as your quarterback, then you have like some dude from the Giants as your wide receiver. That's now fantasy realm. You know my fantasy. Team. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it really? laughs> How do you know my fantasy squad, dude? Father Spyrodon's going to shut down. If, I, if Father Spyrodon comes in here, I'm going to fucking chief in his family shotgun. A <laughs> shotgun right in there. He's going to imagine being gay and be like, ah! <laughs> I'm going to chief one right in his face and go, think about sucking a dick, dude. Because <laughs> right now, I bet you can really visualize it. He'd probably it. chant you away, though. He'd be like, home and along and along. <laughs> that would work. I would actually get scared. <laughs> I'd scurry back to my chambers. Well, wait, wait. What, what does that mean? What, what do you okay, say? Actually, what are you doing, dude? I, I know I, you're fucking around. I don't know Latin, dude. That's a dead language. <laughs> I'd have to rush to my refrigerator. I'd get a white claw. <laughs> go, yes, dude. Nothing can hurt me with the lime white claws. <laughs> like them, and I, the one I showed you the one time of a guy trying to jump into a pool. No, he just was like whacked out. He's on a roof and thought there was a pool, and he just jumped off. And oh back, yeah, that's yeah. That was the day we met. Yeah, I that was the first that. thing we we that exchanged was, death videos. That was my one death. Video I showed you a speckled bear. Spec. What's it called? Spectacle bear. I don't know. This nasty bear in India Marching just munching a dude. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. Bears killing you is bad. That's the revenant, yeah. That's the, the, this yeah, pitbull video pretty is pretty mean. bad. The pitbull video will well, fuck you so up. So you're not like fucking getting like destroyed. Like this dude just in there, everyone's holding him back. Imagine us three held you Wait, back. people are holding him down. They're, they they have him pinned down, and they're right. letting the they're letting and two you're pit just bulls looking get down at it, and it's fucking chewing off your balls and dick. Sounds like almost like a Marvel origin story. And it's, Oh, yeah, it really man. does. That's Pipple biting your dick off. It's so <laughs> fucked up they have to cover up his face because they can't look at his face while it's happening. But they don't mind watching that. But they Who's can't doing this? Face. I don't know. I'm assuming like fucking... Pedophiles. Oh, they pixelate sure. his face? I'm assuming out in the stands. No, they cover his Was face. it in America? Who covers it? I don't know. Dude's don't doing it though. So. Well, the guys were, were torturing him on purpose? Yeah. I thought he just ran into like a bad stray dog. Oh, no. no this was no, like no. an execution.
I thought it was just a good dog in the wrong in the hands of the wrong owners. <laughs> <laughs> who saved who? They're sweet dogs. Yeah, yeah. Jax would never do that. He would never bite my dick off. He wishes, dude. He'd love to bite my fucking dick off and <laughs> love the house. Fucking blind the idiot. I had to fucking check him today. I got a new thing for check. Is like, he have diabetes? I yeah, probably honestly. He dude, he he like he's got bitters. Now that he's like kind of blind, he thinks it's just like if we're walking, he's like, he'll just stop suddenly. It fucking pisses me off so bad and I have to be like <laughs> And I'll like pull Come his on, leash. Bud. Now I don't pull him. I stop, grab his uh, scruff, and just take him to the ground. Holy shit, dude. He's but blind. like gently. Like, dude, he's, he, he has to learn. This I'm is, elder, this is elder abuse, dude. He's going to pull my fucking Yeah, Matt's like those Jamaican nannies that just like punch the fucking <laughs> yeah. old white ladies. No, dude. dude we're walking. I, I I'm, I'm taking him for a two-mile walk. I'm <laughs> treating these guys. Grab my scruff and hold him down. It's, it's very it's very much in the canine family. I grab it's my tough scruff. tough love, dude. And I, I don't fucking like hit him real hard because I'm furious, dude. I'm like ready to like. I'll, otherwise, I just pull the fucking leash yeah, hard. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, don't do that. Chill. And then he'll like, he'll just like, I'll be walking like, you know, the decent clip. Dude, he's a beta all of a now. Sudden, he's blind. Dude, he needs the alpha. It's like they, they yeah. just drop the anchor on you and you go, oh. And then yeah. I'm like, all right, I guess you have to shit. And he'll just sniff like a piece of grass for like 10 seconds. They I'm love like, sniffing that. When you're pulling them and they're still trying to get that last sniff. God, dude, it pisses me. But I, it works. I literally grab his scruff and I just, I don't like force him to the ground and try to hurt him. Yeah. I just go, boom, drop him, hold him, and then let him up. And he, he does good to go. Out. Yeah. Nice. How'd you discover that move? You just did it and stuff. How did you figure out he was blind? Because he walks into shit. Okay. The treats. Yeah, is... and the treats too. You hold treats out and he's just like, he's like, <laughs> he when, did he, when did he go? He must have been blind recently, he ate, right? He ate 14 chocolate cupcakes. He ate a baker's dozen. We what got like, 14 cupcakes. We got, some shit some yeah. huh? what fucks uh-huh. the dogs up in chocolate? Theobromine. Theobromine, yeah. And he went blind from it? Dude, it was the that blindness didn't like set on right marble. away. So when dogs eat a lot of the chocolate, they get obviously they're like fucked up yeah and then he started like peeing like crazy like i think it fucks their kidneys up so he started peeing like just like he would go outside and oh, like, poor psh, guy. Psh, psh. and then he was he was kind of fine that was for like a couple of days he ate and then the slowly apple, but dude. surely he started just walking into shit and i was like dumbass we're yeah. walking and all of a sudden it started happening a lot and i'm like oh this guy's going blind oh that's, that's but it was it could have just been on it happening anyway but i in my head i was like that was some chocolate cupcakes them goddamn chocolate cupcakes. He ate fucking fourteen, dude. I would have went blind. <laughs> fourteen <laughs> chocolate, and then he was going for the next dozen. That's the oldest baker's dozen, obviously. True, he was going for it. He was. He had those smashed off, and he was chewing through the box of the next four. That was a suicide mission. Yeah, save his damn life. It's a good way to go, though, for a dog. Fucking twenty-eight chocolate cupcakes, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Fuck it. Like, Holy, sh- it all, dude. I'm done with sight yeah. anyway. The true. Just- I'll trade sight for these thirteen co- fucking. That'd cupcakes. be a wild way if you could go out. Yeah, bigger cocaine. Start overdose. customizing your shell. You're like, fuck it. What do I get true. if I lose eyes? Well, dude, apparently <laughs> my brother said off. they had the uh, lady come out for his dog was all fucked up, and there's a lady just like rolls out to your house, lays down a blanket. You put your dog down. She just is like, boom, hits it with the Oh, needle, yeah. And you just get the barrier. That dog. happened to Kreischer. He, they had to kill their fucking Mastiff oh. in his family's house. Yeah. Yeah. Like That's him and the it, kids yeah. all sat around the dog. And well, they killed it. And they injected it while they were all like holding it. Yeah. Spade at a yeah, that's what I did, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, with Zeus. Zeus, yeah. yeah. That's what I did, yeah. With who? Zeus. Oh, sat up. Yeah, yeah, with Zeus. Yeah, man. You held Zeus the boy. was a fucking resident of Ohio, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't he actually wasn't he actually like a pure resident of Ohio? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, definitely. He was a lunatic, wasn't yeah, he? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had a wild dude, dog. Well we would blind, go, dude. I would leave with him to go paint, and he had like a parapet roof on his, I think, third floor. <laughs> and the dog would just walk along this parapet. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's it's a two foot something you could only learn in Ohio. A 30 yeah. foot drop. <laughs> That's Ohio. And they would just the dog would just stand on the roof like a gargoyle. <laughs> For hour, it was insane. It was a big fucking dog. Yeah, I've seen yeah that dude, thing. it was a sixty pound fucking pit bull. Yeah, he was a good boy. And it would just chill on the third floor on this two foot parapet and just watch. And it was in muscle. your house now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he yeah. used to guard the house. That's a good guard dog oh, up there. Yeah. That's he a scarecrow. He was a, respect, he was a gargoyle, dude. dude. Yeah. yeah, dude, that might, that's tons of hood credit. For real, a dog standing on a yeah. you have a pit bull on your roof. You a wild white yeah. pit bull that just marches around your roof. <laughs> that's yeah. for real. What he called animal control. That's really sick. good. That he is was a, a savage. He, uh, yeah, he chewed through cinder blocks to get out of the house. He, yeah, he he's jumped out of the window twice. I think jumped out of the window a bunch of times. He would bite you with his gums, and he's like, "Yo, dude, oh, yeah, he, he smashed yeah, his yeah, teeth. Yeah. He smashed his teeth. He crushed his teeth on cinder blocks, so he could bite the shit out of you. It didn't hurt. Just kind of like a lot of pressure. Yeah, it was wild." Must have felt like a snake. <laughs> oh. There's nothing wrong with it. Dude. We're off that. You Me and Zeus were like brothers. You we said never got true. That. Yeah, true, 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 true. 
Huh? It is off limits. You said never tell anyone about this covenant. I said, boys, we can literally never talk about this. <laughs> the snake vid? Yeah. No. Dog what dog. followed it, dude? Oh, yeah. When the, the Lord's the dog down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> The dog brothers <laughs> fell into the, the oh. darkest pit. Yeah. It's weird because you're like, why am I getting hard? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's your it's your organism. Everyone bro. goes it's, through the same. If anyone, no, like, people organism, can sit bro. there on their fucking high. Yeah, like, you guys think you're better than us. Yeah, well, actually, watch not one. us. Them. You it's think you're your better than them? Fucking organism, man. What do you watch do? one? Your nervous system's state. a billion years old. Yeah. Everyone oh, goes. Yeah, is it illegal to see him? It's like the stages of grief. We should actually check that if what? we're just openly admitting to watching something that's it's legal. It's, I was in Ohio. When Who it amongst us hasn't <laughs> seen it, dude? Oh, that's why you keep bringing up Ohio, dude. Everyone's seen dogs fuck people on their phone. I mean, I, my Come my on. theory on it is if you can watch people die, it's probably on the same lines. Like that is an illegal act, but it's not illegal. It's like to downloading see. a song illegally. It's like downloading songs, watching dogs fuck ladies. Yeah. The same fucking crime. Everybody does it. it That's what I told him. I was like, dude, stop tree. sending me this shit. And he goes, no, seriously, just give it a try. I was like, bro, I'm Who? not doing it. It's strange. You did not. What? <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. That's javelin. Just, now you throw yeah, That's just actually not true. Shane was like, the boxer one's crazy. I was like, dude, I don't want to see this. <laughs> That's <laughs> bo- <laughs> bo- Dude, for real, a boxer video, they would bring the most. That would be the most energy, dude. That was the most surprising thing. Big boxer energy? <laughs> no. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I never saw a dog's boner. I oh, thought it was really? just a red rocket. What else comes out? A it's- full-size giant dick comes out of every dog. <laughs> you dude. see the whole fucking thing. Bigger than any of us. Huge <laughs> dicks, dude. I didn't know. I well, thought they Jax just had- is huge. True. Jax it made me look at every, every chick with a dog sheath? differently. I've, I've never seen, seen it in my life. It, even his sheathed fucking setup's big. Yeah, I've seen a decent amount of it. How, no, how about you, this? It, you would know. Not his whole dick. It's Crazy. I haven't seen the whole damn yeah. dick, and if I see it, I'm gonna be pissed. Not yeah. saying you, you, would do. you. We gotta really, pissed. honestly, stop talking. Not about oh yeah, you Jax. Right. Jax would be in competition with you for sure. Yeah, obviously. He's fucking huge. We're at a low weight class, dude. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> this is featherweight. This is flyweight. <laughs> What's catchweight? What's that? <laughs> Amateur. Yeah. This is. Girl, not girls saying, not saying you would do it though, but I don't trust. Like after seeing that shit, I'm like, I don't trust any chicks with dogs. <laughs> He's because, so paranoid. He doesn't want to get clowned. Here's the thing. Here's he can't the get clowned. His girlfriend, wants a, dog. His girlfriend wants a dog. His no, girlfriend no, no. wants a dog. No, I'm He's just like, saying. Like, you look. You look at girls differently after you see it. It's not getting clowned. You just warn like, her about it. Just be like, look, no, these dogs have like, huge dicks and they can fuck you. That like once you're like, oh, I didn't I've know a dog it. had a huge dick. A chick sees that. <laughs> a chick sees that. And she's like, that's a huge dick. Like, Dude, what would you do if your dog? What would you do if your dog had like legit tits and you were like, whoa, dogs have huge tits? You would never touch them. I would cuddle them. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, these right. chicks probably, fuck my dog. Would, they probably Dude, fall into this. Yeah, think about it. what kind of dogs. I would do it as a party trick. Like, they ah. probably fall into it. What kind of Guys. dogs does Bill love? Bill loves micro pits, <laughs> chihuahuas, <laughs> pomeranians. Oh, like, shit, dude, it all gets, the dogs Bill fucks with. Yo, it's, it's getting crazy. so deep, dude. Yeah, dude. No, you gotta watch you can't out. Can't get clowned. In the dog is <laughs> you, what? you, you, this is all you, dude. This is what? Not me. You're going, dude. You found you the are. ring. <laughs> what he are you showed talking me the about? Snake. What? Are, why are you even? We're still like, look at why the video we had you, Shane. Yeah. That's exactly what you guys did. Give that to me. No, I said, let me see it. Ew, dude. Disgusting. I never even You're like stopped. Ball on his throat. I said, disgusting. <laughs> I never even stopped painting. I just had it on and go. Whoa, this is giving me a chill. He kept painting. Dude. I'm just gonna jump timelines right now. There's a dude in like fucking mutual whatever insurance just like listening to people talk about fucking dogs in like a respectable office just <laughs> quietly <laughs> just, I, it's uh, just yeah crazy. we're actually we're releasing i've been on every tomorrow. i've been on like i've seen fucked up shit on the internet for sure everyone of course. has dude i'm telling you there's just a bunch of dudes that got fucking pop for child porn actually <laughs> who i dude. can't fucking remember what? little segue <laughs> I can't remember. It was a bunch of dudes. No, there was a huge. There was a huge thing. For there was a huge thing where it was like a sex like ring, and like squad? you, you log on to oh, a thing. No. And it's a monthly. Wait, what? Yes. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. it? They like busted. Uh, you fucking get they busted. Are you scared the of boss, into it, dude. The truth, bro. Yeah. No. They busted a, Let's get like an Epstein it. type thing, like a get blackmail a pedophile ring for, uh, or yeah. not pedophile yeah. prostitution. Yeah. Another ring one for. Uh, oh, dude, please. Up, oh, he's on it. Yeah, for senators. Wait, who got congressman and stuff? See that? Got busted? Get him. Get him. A lot of shit. Dude, the FDIC, I think, is having a huge problem. The FDIC, with sexual the guys harassment. Who, FD, who? FDIC. Like the people banks. who like 
guarantee your money yeah. doesn't get taken yeah they're right? having huge problems like there's a huge scandal with i can see that. dudes big dicking in there though oh yeah dude. dudes are guarding i think they guard up to 250k yeah so they're in there like yeah they give you 250 up to it's 250k all good. yeah so i can see that i can see that what getting a little randy in that office what Guys what's, like what's the business you just call them and like we got you bro no they just make sure the banks are like operating right there's something weird true i can I'm see not, those guys i'm not much of a money man saying. myself what i'm not much i don't know too much about the we have to do some ufc do we have to shake off the, let's get yeah the yeah yeah let's, let's, go Adam, let's break what up. are we at an hour and 37 minutes God let's go damn, madam pussy yeah. ufc dude we gotta fight dude you know there's nothing like the fight game trust me yeah dude like i said we've all done stuff for you know we've uh, this is uh, this is patreon lord knows i did <laughs> this is patreon that's a good move yes so that's a swag. Maybe album. audio only. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Fumbling the bag over these dog two talking born. about fucking watching dog porn. Would you be brought insane. it up. I know. I just wanted to accuse you. I wanted to say here, are, here are the sickos. Here are the men accused of just, buggery. I, like you know, how you were like you're into you're into the girls. You like it when the girls. I are I like into to it, see what was in the know? beginning oh, of yeah. that party, oh, porn. Bro. For sure. It's like I'm you watching it. I'm watching a golden retriever sure make a girl party. come, and I'm going, oh, she likes it. You know, and it, Porn it's the part of me that likes I like, like that she jack <laughs> this is probably what happened what? did he sit in there probably telling his boys sit on the jack ladder that's layers and now and then it's like it just slowly gets <laughs> worse and worse it's then, then he started raping <laughs> then he started hanging while sure. over balconies dude at a certain point <laughs> like, all of, like all these all you famous guys dude, if you you're it, such a piece of shit I'm oh, telling you, embarrassing you, why can't we just like chill like we used to I'm saying, <laughs> do you think there's ever a time when we've known each other that I wouldn't say Bill could you please get on the jack Dude, back when you were just in the basement. Damn, I miss those days, honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, it had an echo down there. I just miss I just miss it, I guess. You were just different back then. You're like the same guy you are now. You're like kind of different, but like, you're still my boy. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> we please talk about I, your pants. we talk about there? anything else? <laughs> Math boy Diddy. True. Oh yeah, your squad did have a tough fall. When did Diddy become my boy so hard? <laughs> Dude, you you <laughs> were Will true. Smith. Yeah, true. I'll give you Will Smith. Yeah, I'll give you Will Smith. <laughs> that was more of like a journalistic fascination. Oh come on, bro! <laughs> you were big Willie style. Literally, your intro is Will Smith. Because it was funny, dude. It's, it's funny. Irony, it's a dude. funny song. You love. Yeah, it's a level love. of comedy we don't understand. Yeah, true. Honestly, making people listen to. We have smooth brains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I did. I will say, dude. I mean, I'm telling you, I read the man's autobiography, and I said this guy is a absolute pressure cooker, ready to explode. <laughs> that was a good. I mean, you fucking. That was a good shot call, dude. It was. I just you read it. It's like this is the most. And he put it out, being like, I'm setting the record straight. And it's like, dude, you just gave people a glimpse into fucking like hell. <laughs> it's like this is terrifying. He's like, I used to have sex with girls, and then I threw up. And you're like, okay, that's fucking. That yeah, that's something super strange, really terrifying. fucked up. Yeah, that's terrifying. And the thing he did to Jada Pinkett with her grandma, where he like made her grandma watch her have sex with like another guy. Wait, what? What, dude? Yeah, towards the end of the book, he was like, he's like, yeah, we always play jokes on each other. Like, I have a sick, I have girls. a sick, it's, I have a sick sense of humor. When her, when her mom came you by, got on the jackalope, and now you're trying to turn it on me. <laughs> I had get on the jackalope. You got on the jackalope. You took the. Picture. That was basically Big Willie hands and knees dude. i know <laughs> that was me on all fours hands and knees, big willie is crazy <laughs> the what when he gets, you show me when he gets on his hands i showed and knees. i showed Would you show last me night I was, oh you show me that will will smith's walk of fame like when he puts his hands in the concrete yeah dude he did it dude he's face down ass up. it's crazy dude oh, <laughs> dude, oh something nice did you ever see the memes how they say like when white women get into all four or get into doggy they arch the back they do the camel yeah that made me laugh it's you dude oh, bro did you see that <laughs> that's you on the jack yeah, 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 i didn't see that i didn't see that before what the fuck oh, <laughs> <Who did before? laughs> Fresh oh. prints, dude. There is some weird shit going on because, like, there's a lot of like, Im- like it's like blackmail almost. What do you mean? Like all the rappers, like they all talk about like getting forced to suck dicks and shit. Like Lil Wayne and Birdman are real weird with that. That dude Cohen, yeah, he's like a executive <laughs> guy allegedly. Dude, that's gay as fuck. That's crazy, dude. That sucks. That's you gonna get on all fours? I would have done a handstand. I would have done a fucking handstand. <laughs> Three point stand. <laughs> I might get a four point fan. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just three knuckles. Yeah. Oh man. But uh 
You do seem upset about the jackalope. I don't seem upset about the jackalope. It would have been fun if we were having fun. You did it with a sinister look in your face. (laughs) (laughs) That's the thing. If we're just like, oh, get on the jackalope. I get paranoid because I'm like, oh, we're having a good time. We were having a good time. And then Bill's like, like, no, dude, he's embarrassing you. And I'm like, no, he's not. He's my friend. I'm not embarrassing you. I think it'd be funny if you got on the jackalope. A grown man sat on a jack o' lantern. You think that's funny? That makes you laugh. (laughs) Yeah. But a man. It's a funny picture. Everybody likes a fake animal. The jackalope? I don't yeah, think it's a, a rabbit with animal. horns. Yeah. yeah. It's like a... Uh, <laughs> I, well, I, I, swan, swan, honestly, I thought know. it was a thing. And I, was like, I was 50-50. I was like, I guess you can cross I was like deep in my 30s. That's actually like a for real yeah. good picture. Not That's you having fun in Texas. Having a great time. Yeah, it's nothing Mr. Cool had to get on it. True, that could all just be you internal. You your face. It's embarrassing. You could no, you could flip the script and be like, I could I'm flip free and having fun. You should have done a one eye, dude. This is all internal processes, dude. He serves a different power. Look, we create. Look, <laughs> look we we create no, reality. Look, that we crap. create reality within, dude. I'm starting to program. <laughs> I'm starting to program. You're back. <laughs> look, we create reality from within. You can ride the jackal. Dude, that could be you elevating, dude. Terrence yourself. Howard is like kind of fucking making a lot of sense lately. What's this? The guy who said the multiplication is bullshit or something? Yeah, like dude, <laughs> dude, Bill, yeah. what? What's he? What's he? He's say? not making any sense. Dude. What's he standing what? on? Hold on. What's he standing on? Math is bullshit. Math I'm is with bullshit. Him on that. Like, I agree. I mean, it's just a bunch of dudes who are like, yeah, these are the equations. They have to be done this way. I'm Why? pretty sure he's trying to sell hydrogen energy to Africa. Yeah. yeah. Is he really? If he does, I mean. He says they can fly helicopters with free energy. But he's probably right. It, it sounds he, like it's true. Yeah, hydrogen sounds good. Isn't that the sun? I don't know. You guys I'm saying. Turn, you're coming around. <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> <laughs> you see Mr. Beast drilled fucking a bunch, like 900... Uh, wells in Africa. Yeah. yeah. It's actually awesome. pretty sick. Racist piece of shit, dude. Is he racist? <laughs> it's just the world no, mind virus. Let's get into it. <laughs> What's Mr. Beast do? <laughs> they said it was racist and it makes them look like they needed help. It's like, obviously they do. They don't have water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no water is yeah, big. That's, was, that's a huge problem. When you know. don't have running water, life sucks. Wait, who was giving Mr. Beast All you Beast can get is it? aid packages from the sky of like almost melted plastic of like Poland Springs. Yeah. Probably just getting different types of cancer for the things sitting out in the sun. Who could possibly see that and put such a negative the spin on it? The woke mind virus that <laughs> is currently taking over dude. our country. Uh, get about, into yeah. it. I think the pendulum's swinging back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. Well, the green, yeah, the green